Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I have a huge haul for you. <laughs> um, I went to three different stores, even though I told myself, only go to one. You don't need to spend any more money. It was vacation, it's fine. Um, so I went to one in Oshkosh, I went to the outlet store, just like I said I would. I went to one in Escanaba, Michigan, and I went to one in Marquette, Michigan, so... I got a bunch of candles, body sprays, and wallflowers. So, let's just start. <laughs> this is going to be long, by the way. So, I'm just going to start with my three mini candles. So, one of this one I already started burning. This one is Hot Cocoa and Scream. Focus, please. Thank you. Um, I don't know what that is. I, I don't know. It's freaking me out. It smells really good. I actually already have this. I wanted another one. Um, I don't know what bug that is. It's making a racket outside, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I don't. I think it's supposed to be like a dead unicorn, but whatever it is, it looks like crap, and I don't like it at all. Um, I personally, it's a hot chocolate flavored candle, flavored scented, whatever. And I don't think that this. Um, green really fits it because it's green wax it almost makes it look kind of gross won't focus but you know what i mean i burned it yesterday night and, and it was 88 degrees and humid and i had to like extinguish it because it was way too like holiday themed for me so personally i feel like this is more of a christmas candle not halloween but whatever it smells really good i don't think i'm gonna read the notes out so Hopefully you already know what they smell like. This next one is Vampire Blood, which I have fallen in love with. I need to get the three wick of this, like, ASAP, because it's so good. Um, it's super fruity. Maybe I will read the notes out. Um, the notes are Blood Red Strawberry, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Dark Plum. And I've learned from experience that the mini candles have a really, really good throw. So... I have high hopes for especially this one. Um, the last one is Perfect Pumpkin. Focus, please. Thank you. Um, the cat, the cat is cute. <laughs> it looks like it has two feet. It's like hanging around the pumpkin. It looks weird. Um, I feel like this one smells really similar to Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, which I do have. But the notes are slightly different. But even if it is a dupe. I guess I have two of them. The notes read Perfect Pumpkin, Black Cat's Clove, and Batty Brown Sugar. So, it is this. And they were three, four, twelve. I now have three single wick candles. I have Pumpkin Apple, which my boyfriend was smelling this last night. And he was like, like he tried to eat it. It was really cute. Um, <laughs> I know he's watching this too. Hi, Mike. Um, yeah. This is more apple than anything. The apple's way overpowering. I can't smell the pumpkin in the slightest, but you know, it's not bad. The notes read red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, and fresh ground cinnamon. So these two that I got were two for 16 at the outlet store, and they are usually that price anywhere else you go. This next one is champagne toast, which you may already know. I This is my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Ah, it's so, like, it smells like berry smoothie. The notes read bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. So, I am really excited to burn this. I might even do it soon because it's still, like, really hot outside. And I feel like that's more of a hot time scent, like summer, rather than New Year's is when that came out, I believe. This next one is Smoked Honey Woods. This was 75% off. So I think, I don't have the receipt still, but it was probably around like four bucks. Taking a guess. This one, I'm telling you, I'm like the only person that smells maple bacon. It just smells like maple bacon. It smells like maple bacon. It smells meaty. <laughs> it really does. Like I can smell like the honey. Once I think about it, I can smell the honey, but at like first sniff, it smells like bacon. The notes read, you can see why it's in clearance, <laughs> golden raw honey, cedarwood, and autumn wildflowers. Now, there's no bacon or maple in there, but it smells like breakfast. 
<laughs> okay, then I got two three wicks and I got a cat. And she's so cute. I love her. <laughs> okay, head out. I got, obviously, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And you guys, look at the lid. Oh my god. It's gorgeous. I'm in love with it. Now, it looks like this has been touched with, like, I need to, like, scrape wax off. I've never even used it. It's not perfect pumpkin. It's really close. This one's so much, this one's more pumpkin than perfect pumpkin. Perfect pumpkin doesn't even have pumpkin in it. Now, this is my first three wick candle from Bath and Body Works. I've never bought them before. My mom has. But this is my first, like, this is mine. All mine. <laughs> So I hope it was worth it. I think this was $12.95. They were both $12.95. They had $10 ones, but I didn't really like them as much. Um, the next one I got, I was trying to find a second one, like my last thing to buy while I was there. And I was like, I needed to find something like perfect. I'm not in focus. What's happening? Okay. That's better. <laughs> Never mind. It's not. Okay, whatever. Um, so... I was like, I need to find something that's going to, like, blow me away that's perfect for the rest of the summer. Because I have, where I live anyway, our summers have been, like, I think the first day of fall was 94 degrees. And it's really wrong. However, I'm prepared for that to happen again with summer-scented candles. <laughs> I can't get into my fall mood quite yet. So this is Cherry Snow Cone. I have never seen anybody haul this before. I've never seen this candle or heard of it. Oh my god, you guys. It smells like a cherry snow cone. Um, you know, if you've ever had, like, cherry lime soda, this is exactly what it smells like. The notes read, sweet cherry syrup, vanilla shaved ice, and a hint of lime. This is the perfect, like, midsummer candle. Or not late summer, but that's when I'm gonna be burning it. So, yeah, and the top is pretty bland, but... No matter. Okay, so the next bag I have, Wallflowers. They were 5 for 23 when I went to the Marquette store. That's where I bought them. The first one I have is Watermelon Lemonade. I had the Watermelon Lemonade mini candle, and I had a really good throw, and it was really, really strong. It smelled so freaking good. So I'm going to try this one out, and hopefully it will be good. I think this will be my next the next one I use, I put my wallflower in my bathroom, so. The next one I have is fresh linen, and I told my boyfriend I was going to burn this one next, but we actually opened it. As you can see, there's no, like, plastic wrap on it, and it doesn't smell like fresh linen. The notes read sun-dried linen, apple blossom, and dewy melon. This smells like Paris Amour mixed with, like, cucumber melon. And it's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> it smells really, really good. Like, it's really good scent, but it's not linen. This is, like, straight-out fruity. It smells good, but I really wanted, like, a linen scent. He loves linen, and I thought I finally, like, hit the jackpot. There was no tester candle for this one, so I just kind of grabbed it and hoped for the best. If I were to smell the tester candle of this... I wouldn't, I would not have bought it, so, I mean, it smells fine, but for the purpose that I purchased it for, it does not, like, fit that. The next one I got, of course, is Champagne Toast. I'm very excited to use this one, but I'm going to save it. I wish I got more, like, fall-scented ones. I got pretty much all summery ones. Um, I got Lemon Cello. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I got Lemon Cello. I've burned this before. It's really strong. Or I, I got the Sparkling Lemon Cello Bath and Body Works one. This is the White Barn one. I don't know if there's like a difference or something. I honestly don't know. The notes read Bright Lemon Zest, Sorrento Lemons, and Cane Sugar. This is a very sweet, like, it's not lemonade, but it's sweet lemon. But it's not kitchen lemon, if you know what I'm talking about. What's my cat doing? I see her. What's up? What you doing? What are you gonna, what are you gonna do? <laughs> keep an eye on her. She's being a weirdo. Um, yeah, this packaging's boring, but it's White Barn, so I didn't expect anything, like, spectacular. The last one I got is the only fall one I got, which the tag is, for some reason, like, upside down right now. 
Let me fix that. I got pumpkin cupcake. And I smelled the tester candle. It smelled really good. But personally, I don't think this one's going to have a very strong throw. Because I, had to, I just kind of get that feeling, you know? I just don't think it's going to. And hopefully I'm wrong, but I don't know. The notes read buttercream, pumpkin spice, and a freshly baked cupcake. So I don't have high hopes for this one. I pretty much just needed a fifth one to complete the deal. So this is the one that I picked up. And now we can finally move on to body sprays. And a couple other things. The first thing, I should get this out of the way. I got an EDT in cucumber melon. It was 75% off. My foot fell asleep. Okay, fixed it. I took, like, the cardboard out of it already, so I gotta... Yeah, alright. just looks like this. You probably already know, and you've probably seen them. Unless you haven't. I, le I just learned last... Like, this summer that Bath & Body Works made EDTs. So this is my second one that I have. And Cucumber Melon is not my favorite scent. But it's long lasting. It's really strong. It's good fresh, like after showers and during the springtime. So I think I'm going to save this for spring. Okay. Me too. I only bought one lotion because I just have so much. And oh my god, what is that? <laughs> I bought sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And this, I've used this already quite a bit. Um, it's so pumpkin-y. It's, I don't smell cinnamon. I just smell like straight pumpkin guts. Like when you're like... Look, like, you see there's a pumpkin, like, right there. That's what it smells like. <laughs> um, the packaging is cute. I've said before I don't like, like, real-life shots of things on the packaging. I like more just, like, cutesy, but this works. <clears throat> it smells like when you're carving jack-o'-lanterns and you take all the stuff out from inside the pumpkin and put it in the trash, and this is pretty much the exact same thing <clears throat> I got five pocket bags but I gave two to my boyfriend while well, one to his mom and one to him I got my unicorn made me do it magical mango I love mango scents I didn't even smell this uh, I used it though oh, it's good. I used it after I bought it I finally found these I just never go to Bath and Body Works it's like in the fall so I'll see people like hauling this stuff and then I went to a Bath and Body Works when all of the fall stuff, like the first fall things, like came out, and I couldn't find them still. So I finally got afternoon apple picking, specifically in the afternoon. Nowhere past 5 p.m. Come on. I give up. Um, the packaging's cute. It's just like this year's packaging for the fall stuff that came out so far. I did real. I did see that Bath and Body Works released all the sweet cinnamon pumpkin and sweater. Sweater weather body care. Not body care, I don't think. Fragrance mist from what I saw. This smells not like this is just like straight apple. There's no like champagne apple and honey. This is just apple. And I love that. As I've been looking for it. And then I got crisp morning air, which is a very good fresh scent. It's a good transitional scent from late summer to early fall. While it's getting cold goes from like 80 degrees to like a, like 55 to 70 this was a, this would be a really good transition scent so I wish they had this in body care because I would buy it unless they do somebody let me know <laughs> I got lemon of course I already used some of it and I already have it so I just wanted another one this is not lemon cello this is not one of the other ones the other ones this is like just straight out lemon like no if ands or buts it's just lemon like they just squeeze lemon and put it in there all right i got four fragrance mists and then we're all done the first one i finally found country chic my the outlet store um they have all of the retired fragrances and they're always six dollars so i found this it smells really good it smells like sunflowers i don't know exactly what the notes are guessing sunflowers I see them on the packaging um I finally got juniper breeze the um 
fragrance mist. This is one of my favorite scents by them. It smells like linen. My boyfriend doesn't think so, but I do. Um, excuse me while I... I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I just lost my thought. Um, we've already used this a little bit. I love this, though. I, it was 50% off, so it was like seven and a half bucks. I got... Oahu Coconut Sunset. I don't know if this is the old packaging or the new packaging. It was overstock, obviously, from other stores, because it was in the outlet store, and this was 50% off. And I love this. My boyfriend doesn't, though. Um, yeah, I love this scent. Not more to say about it. Whoops, okay. One last thing. We have In the Sun. Uh, this one's okay for me. I don't love it. It's, it smells like sand and oranges. Like sandy oranges, I don't know. <laughs> um, the packaging's boring. There's nothing. It's just in the sun, five fragrance, fine fragrance mist, Bath and Body Works, eight fluid ounces, 236 milliliters. So, yeah. All right. So that's all I have for you. I will see you guys later. Bye.